Hi there, Doug Stimwood with IT Creations. This week we'll be taking a look at the Dell EMC PowerEdge R540 rack server. This system is designed for medium-sized businesses and features a 2U dual socket chassis that supports some impressive storage to support general business applications and virtualization, in addition to messaging, web serving, and software-defined storage. With its small footprint, large storage capacity, and enhanced throughput, it's a shoe-in for data center environments. Let's see more. Dell has designed the new Gen 14 server lineup to scale as your business needs grow. Using the new management features, you can automate typical IT administrator tasks and better protect your data from intentional and unintentional changes with a range of new security features. New on the R540 are, of course, Intel Xeon scalable processors, support for up to 14 3.5-inch drives, which is six more than what was supported on the R530, and a new boot-optimized storage solution, or BOSS, that allows you to free up one of those front-mounted drives that might otherwise be conscripted to run your operating system. One or two Intel scalable processors with up to 20 cores each can be installed in this system. There are also thermal restrictions on certain processors. The new Xeons offer six memory channels per processor and 48 PCIe 3.0 lanes to support I.O. intensive workloads. Are you interested in this server? For a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the purchase of a system listed at $2,500 or more. That's right, just click that link to see pricing and while you're at it, check out IT Creation's other great deals. Okay, now where was I? Depending on which chassis you choose, the front of the system features either 12 3.5-inch drive bays or 8 3.5-inch drive bays. You can also install 2.5-inch drives in all bays using drive bay adapters. Supported drives include hot swappable SAS, SATA, or Nearline SAS. Two more 3.5-inch or 2.5-inch drives can be installed in a rear-mounted drive cage for a total of 14 storage devices. You could also use those rear-mounted drives for your OS because with the BOSS solution, if one of those M.2 drives goes south, you will need to shut down the system to replace the drive. With all bays on the 12-bay chassis loaded with 10 terabyte drives, the system will support a maximum of 140 terabytes. And since the documentation doesn't necessarily say anything about storage capacity for the rear drive cage, using that same logic, it seems like you can also get an additional 20 terabytes of storage. A lockable honeycomb bezel comes with or without an integrated display and ensures your drives stay in the chassis and aren't walking out the door like that guy who tried to steal Frances McDermott's Best Actress Oscar at the 2018 Oscars Awards. Including the lockable front bezel, there are a few other integrated and optional security features, including an optional tamper-proof module 2.0, cryptographically signed firmware, and a chassis intrusion alert. The cyber-resilient architecture is also a new one and includes secure boot, secure lockdown, and secure erase. That last one, secure erase, works with iDRAC 9.0 to make sure that all data is permanently and completely erased from all storage and memory devices when you're retiring or redeploying the server. And a big one, embedded authentication, allows only properly signed firmware updates to run. The Open Managed Systems Management gives administrators intelligent automation tools to take care of mundane server tasks, leaving more discretionary time to focus on your business. You can also get the new and improved QuickSync 2.0, which is included in the left control panel server here. Introduced with the Gen 13 PowerEdge server line, QuickSync 1.0 could only be used with the optional QuickSync bezel and an Android smartphone or tablet. QuickSync 2.0 is included with many of the Gen 14 servers, doesn't require a special bezel, and can be used with an Android or iOS device with the OpenManage mobile app. The left server here also shows system health with five status LED lights. An optional internal dual SD card module has two SD cards to provide fail-safe support for a hypervisor when used in mirror mode with two cards. There are 16 DDR4 DIMM slots on the system that support either registered or load-reduced DIMM modules that can operate at speeds of up to 2666 MHz. However, to attain that specific speed, the memory module and processor must support that speed. And the memory configuration may also play a role in memory speed. With a single processor, the system will support up to 256 gigabytes. With dual processors, the system will support a maximum of 512 gigabytes, both using 32 gigabyte memory modules. There are several USB ports with two 3.0 ports on the back, one 3.0 internal, and two USB 2.0 ports up front, along with an iDRAC Direct micro USB port. You can choose from either a 450 watt, 750 watt, or 1100 watt redundant power supply supporting both AC and DC. An integrated Matrox G200E R2 graphics card has a 16 megabyte capacity and supports screen resolutions of up to 1440 by 900 pixels. PCIe slots are dependent on the installed risers with different card sizes supported if you have the rear storage configuration and a different configuration if you won't be using the rear drive cage. This system allows up to six PCIe add-on NIC cards to be installed. The daughter card can be switched out to support different network connection speeds, but you can also increase throughput with additional stand-up NIC cards. There are also two integrated one gigabit NIC ports on the back panel. General purpose graphics processing units are not supported on the R540. 
The Dell EMC PowerEdge R540 server is a very capable platform that can be used to support a number of common business practices. Generous memory, dual scalable processors, and an optional SD card for fail-safe hypervisor support also make this a great platform for virtualization and use in the data center. If you have any questions on the Dell EMC R540 or any other platform, just post them in the comment section below. IT Creations carries this server and many others from this generation and previous generations. We can also custom configure a system to your specifications and set it up for next day delivery. We also have all those hard to find components in stock. If you're interested in receiving our newsletter for server workstation and component specials, sign up using the link below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our review and please feel free to share this video with all your geek friends. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations and thanks for watching. Oh,